welcome back to my channel and welcome to my living room. I thought we'd do a little change of scenery for today's video. So I'm here in the formal living room in my home. You can see a picture of me and my husband back there some nice candles. So we have a little bit of a different background for today's video. And today's video is the second one in the Clean Eating at Trader Joe's series. So I'm gonna be sharing with you the other half of the Trader Joe's clean eating must haves. Last time I shared with you a few of the items from Trader Joe's, we did grocery, snacks, dried fruit, and nuts. And today we're going to dive into beverages dairy, condiments, and what you can find in the freezer section at Trader Joe's to help you on your clean eating approach to the WW program. So without further ado, we have a lot to go over. So let's jump into today's video. Navigating through Trader Joe's can be quite the task. There are a lot of great healthy options at Trader Joe's and there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of non-healthy options at Trader Joe's. The most important thing to do at all times is take a look at your ingredient label. We went over several videos about what to look for on ingredients, ingredients to look for, ingredients to avoid. I'm going to link a few of my Clean Eating 101 videos down below for you, so if you haven't seen those, you'll have a little more knowledge in your bank when you go to your local grocery store and you're looking over those nutritional and ingredient labels. So I'm going to share with you first some of the beverages that Trader Joe's offers that are clean eating. First is the Trader Joe's unsweetened almond milk and coconut milk. Now both of these items have good ingredients. They are both fabulous prices at Trader Joe's and if you are someone who likes nut-based milks, these are excellent options. There are also some great nut-based milks that you won't find in the refrigerated section like the almond milk and coconut milk that we just talked about, but these are shelf stable milk alternatives and these are great options as well. There's an almond milk, a coconut milk, a cashew milk, and a macadamia milk. All of these are shelf stable. You can just throw them in your pantry, pop them in your fridge once you open them up, but they have good ingredients. And of course, all of these milks that we just talked about are super low in smart points as most nut-based milks that are unflavored and unsweetened are. Another beverage that I'm a huge fan of is coconut water. The Trader Joe's coconut water is an excellent choice. I like to add this to thin out smoothies and smoothie bowls. That's primarily where I add coconut water is as my liquid for those two items. Also, the coconut creamer at Trader Joe's is not only delicious, it is a clean, good ingredient list creamer as well. Now it isn't super sweet, it doesn't really have much flavor, but it's a great sub for your dairy half and half, so it's nice and thick and creamy, and it just helps make your coffee nice and thick and creamy. There's another milk or nut-based milk called the Simply Almond Beverage. This is a really good option as well, and by its name simply it has simple ingredients and the last two beverages are trader joe's organic green tea so if you're a green tea or a tea lover this is a great option the rule of thumb with tea is you always always want to purchase organic because otherwise tea is very very heavily sprayed with pesticides so buying organic at all times when you're buying tea is super important and this green tea is excellent i like to make iced green tea and you can sweeten it with fruit or you could use some steam drops or whatever you have on hand to sweeten your tea. I like to brew green tea in like a mango or peach tea organic as well together to make a flavored green tea ice in my sun pitcher is amazing in the summer. Must try. And lastly is kombucha. You guys know I am a huge, huge fan of kombucha and Trader Joe's has several great varieties. In fact, they generally have a specialty GT's kombucha that is made just for Trader Joe's. Right now it's the strawberry lemonade and it is absolutely delicious. Now kombucha is really good for your gut health. It has a lot of prebiotics and probiotics. As you know, I do not count points for kombucha, but generally if you are going to count the points, it's about one to two smart points for half the bottle and roughly three smart points for the entire bottle. But it's really no more than 60 to 70 calories. And while we're talking beverages, let's move right along into dairy options at Trader Joe's. I buy a lot of dairy from Trader Joe's. As you know, I eat full fat dairy and I find that Trader Joe's has really, really good prices on their full fat dairy. Now, if you're wondering why should I eat full fat dairy versus low fat or non-fat, 
actually one of the YouTube channels that I follow. Her name is A Sweet Pea Chef. She just did a very short, less than five minute video all about why eating full fat dairy is beneficial in weight loss. I will link that down below for you guys. Get a little bit, little bit of education so you know a little bit more when we're going in here and talking about the dairy options at Trader Joe's. First is cottage cheese. Trader Joe's has some great full fat, whole milk cottage cheese options that are full of nice, clean ingredients. I always look for either a 4% or higher fat content in cottage cheese. And honestly, it's not more than one smart point more per half of a cup and you're getting a lot more health benefits when you're eating a full fat cottage cheese cheese. Also Trader Joe's has some great full fat and non-fat and low fat Greek yogurt options as well. Now a lot of times if I'm cooking with Greek yogurt I sometimes will sub out non-fat because I don't really feel that the amount that I'm using and cooking down in my food is really going to give me a lot of health benefits anyways and I will save the points on the non-fat Greek yogurt. But I do like full fat Greek yogurt to add to my smoothies, smoothie bowls, and my quinoa bowls. Trader Joe's also has a of other yogurt options, flavored and non-flavored yogurt options as well. Make sure you're checking your ingredients. Some of these can be really full of a lot of added sugar, so it's going to elevate the smart points, but they do have some Greek options, some lower sugar options, just kind of whatever you're looking for for the plan that you're working. Trader Joe's has over a dozen different types of yogurt. I often will pick up my eggs from Trader Joe's. They have some great organic pasture-raised egg options. Now, the rule of thumb with eggs is you want to, if at all possible, pick up both organic organic and pasture raised eggs. Those are gonna have that nice deep orange yolk and that's what you're looking for in a good quality egg. Those chickens tend to be able to roam outside and eat worms and bugs as chickens should and any grain or feed that is given to those chickens is non-GMO. Now when you're buying your traditional cheap eggs at the grocery store, they don't ever see the light of day and they're fed a GMO grain. So something I choose not to eat, I know that they're a little more affordable, but you won't believe the difference in the taste and the texture of a good quality organic pasture raised egg. Oftentimes I'll pick up their pre hard boiled, pre peeled eggs as well. They are absolutely delicious and it just makes it really easy. I tend to have a bad habit of going to Trader Joe's hungry. So this is kind of what I'll reach for if I'm wanting a snack for the way home. There's zero points on blue and purple and only two smart points on the green plan. Packed full of protein, healthy fat, really good option and these are already peeled, boiled, and they're really, really good. I also buy the Trader Joe's organic whipped cream cheese all the time. In fact, I have some in my refrigerator right now. I think this cream cheese is really, really delicious on bagels, on toast. I use this in place of any other type of cream cheese, even in cooking. Now this is a full fat cream cheese, but it's whipped so it's nice and it's airy and a little bit goes a long way. And I think the taste and texture of this organic whipped from Trader Joe's is by far the best one that I've tried. And the last thing I buy from the dairy section all the time are Trader Joe's cheese. I really like their Trader Joe's organic mozzarella cheese. This cheese is a full fat or as full fat as mozzarella is cheese. It is so delicious. And bonus, it's only two smart points for one quarter of a cup, which is one point less than traditional shredded cheese. Now, if you're looking for more of a Mexican style cheese, I really like their Trader Joe's light Mexican blend. This one I generally will use for cooking because again, I'm not noticing the light cheese in my cooking as much as if I am like adding it to a salad or making pizza that I generally will go with a full fat cheese. But this light shredded cheese is a great option. And the last cheese I always pick up is their organic feta cheese. Now I don't buy fat free feta. I think that full fat feta is way better. It isn't very many more smart points. And again, you're getting all of those nutritional benefits from full fat dairy. Now let's talk condiments. We have umpteen condiments on our refrigerator and I would say that over half of them came from Trader Joe's. They have literally every condiment that you could ever go for. First thing I want to talk about are their spices. I find that the spices at Trader Joe's are the most affordable. They're anywhere from two to three dollars a bottle which is way less than you're going to find at the grocery store and they actually carry a lot of organic spices which is a huge win as well. So I always stop by the spice section to see what they've come out with that's new. There's a great deli style mustard. If you're looking for a really hearty, good mustard for sandwiches, this is actually one of my favorites. I really like mustard, but I am more of a fan of stone ground, 
Dijon, that type of mustard versus your traditional yellow mustard, and this one is delicious. If you're not concerned about low or no sugar added ketchup, Trader Joe's has an organic ketchup that is really, really good. Now, I generally pick up my ketchup for my husband from Costco. My favorite ketchup actually comes from Thrive. It's Primal Kitchen. I love it, it's a no sugar added ketchup, but if you are a regular ketchup eater, this is an excellent choice because it's organic and tomatoes do fall on the dirty dozen list, so you always wanna buy your tomatoes organic. As you know, if you watch my grocery hauls, I am always picking up my pure maple syrup from Trader Joe's. I like their Vermont pure maple syrup. This little container is only $5, which is an excellent, excellent deal. I really like this syrup. It's rich, it's thick, it's sweet, it's really delicious. And lastly, in the condiment section, you're going to find a lot of oil options. If you haven't seen my oils video, that is one of the ones that I'll link down below where we talk about oils to buy and oils to avoid. Some of my favorite oil options at Trader Joe's are the Chosen Foods avocado oil. Now, this is my favorite oil. This is the one I, this is my ride or die, the one I use all the time. I generally buy it at Costco because it's a lot more affordable, but if you don't have a Costco in your area or you're not a member, Trader Joe's does sell the Chosen Foods avocado oil and it's still a good price for first in class oil. I also pick up my unfiltered virgin coconut oil from Trader Joe's. I don't use a lot of coconut oil, but I really like a good quality organic triple filtered coconut oil and the price at Trader Joe's is really, really good. Now again, you're gonna get a better bang for your buck at Costco, but you're gonna get a ginormous tub of coconut oil. And if you're like me, I just don't use it enough to just Justify that and I really really like this particular coconut oil speaking of coconut oil they have a coconut oil spray non-stick cooking spray which is an excellent option and they have these little individual packs of coconut oil these are great as well for portion control or to take on the go if you're traveling somewhere and you want to bring your own healthy food these little individual packets are a great option and lastly for oils from Trader Joe's and condiments in general, they also carry some really great extra virgin olive oil. And again, I talk a lot about the differences in olive oils in my oils video, so make sure you check that out next. And the last section of Trader Joe's is the frozen section. I spend a lot of time in this section. I have a lot of these products in my freezer right now. A lot of these are my absolute favorites. So we're gonna jump into my favorite freezer section item and that is the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. Now you guys, this has fabulous ingredients. It is a clean food and it is so delicious. I like to either air fry this or my favorite way to cook it is put a little nonstick cooking spray in my skillet, pop in my cauliflower gnocchi, and cook it kind of on a lower heat until it softens, and then I pump up that heat and get it nice and crispy. It's so good. My husband loves this and has no clue that it's cauliflower. So if you're looking for a great side dish, it's only four smart points per serving on all plants. It's clean, and it's husband approved, apparently. I also buy a lot of my organic frozen fruits and vegetables from Trader Joe's. They have excellent prices. Now, I buy all of my frozen fruit and vegetables organic, especially berries. Berries fall on the dirty dozen list, and Trader Joe's has a great bag of mixed organic berries for an excellent price. So always walk up and down the freezer section where the veggies and berries are, because they do generally introduce a lot of new fun fruits and vegetables throughout the seasons. But I pretty much buy mainly my fruits and vegetables frozen from the Trader Joe's freezer section. Speaking of frozen fruit, I am in love with the acai packets. These are literally just acai puree. There's no added sugar, so I count these as zero points. I don't count blended fruit. I am hashtag team no count blended fruit. So for me, these acai packets are zero points. I add them again to smoothies, smoothie bowls. Acai has a ton of health benefits, so it's a great fruit option for those smoothies and those smoothie bowls. Another popular item out of the freezer section is cauliflower rice. Now, I would generally purchase this organic. I don't know if they carry organic at Trader Joe's. I know they carry conventional cauliflower rice, but this is a great option to have. It's zero points on all plans. I like to mix it with a little bit of regular rice, especially if I'm feeding my husband, because if it's just cauliflower rice, he'll know and won't eat it, but I do like to mix Mix it usually 50-50 with some regular rice. It kind of bulks it up, but is zero smart points. So check that out next time you're in the freezer section. They also have a riced cauliflower stir fry that I 
absolutely love. The smart points on this are incredible. I will put them on the screen because I don't know them off the top of my head, but it's very, very low point. It has cauliflower rice, veggies, seasoning. It's a great side dish. You can pop in some zero point protein and literally you have a one or two smart point lunch or dinner. And it's really, really delicious. If you are a salmon lover, check out the wild coho salmon in the freezer section. This is literally some of the best salmon that I've ever ever had and it is so incredibly affordable. It is zero points on blue and purple and the points aren't too bad for a good for you fatty fish on the green plant. As you know, I always buy the frozen mashed potatoes and frozen sweet potato chunks out of the freezer section. It's literally just the mashed potatoes and the sweet potatoes, so there is no added sugars or milks or anything to it. You simply pop the little pellets out throw them in a bowl, add a little water, pop them in the microwave, and you have literally perfect mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes. We eat these all the time. My favorite is the sweet potatoes. My husband's is the mashed potatoes. But if you don't wanna go through the effort of peeling, cutting, and boiling potatoes, this is a great option, and they're really affordable, and you find them with all of the other hash browns and types of things in the freezer section. Now, I've never tried the kale, kale gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I always pick up the cauliflower, but I know that this is another clean food in the freezer section. I've not tried them. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you have. Let us know what you thought of it. If you liked it, how's the taste? How's the texture? But this is a great option as well if you're looking for a better than a potato gnocchi. I love the carrot and the zucchini spirals. They're in these little frozen boxes. You just thaw them, pop them in a pan. You can even cook them on a higher heat and they'll become nice and crispy. So it makes really good carrot and zoodle options for you. If you, again, you don't want to go through the effort of spiralizing your own vegetables. These are pre-spiralized, frozen. You just cook them through and you have that nice zoodle or spiralized carrots for your meal. I do want to put a little honorable mention from frozen vegetables. I am in love, literal in love with the organic rainbow cauliflower. Oh my gosh, this cauliflower is so good and it's pretty to look at. It's all those fun colors, but it just has a really good texture. The cauliflower stays nice and crispy when you cook it, but it's cooked all the way through. So it's really hard to explain, but it's honestly one of my favorite vegetables that's frozen. So I wanted to share that with you so you can look for it next time you're at Trader Joe's. I also like to pick up the red Argentine shrimp. This shrimp is pretty expensive, but these are big juicy shrimps. They remind me a lot of lobster. That same buttery texture and flavor, they're absolutely delicious. It's $10 for the bag at Trader Joe's, but that's really affordable compared to other places and it's really, really good. So this is a good shrimp option if you want something different than those more spongy, harder cooked shrimps. These are really good. They're actually my favorite. This is really the only type of shrimp that we buy. And last in the freezer section are the rices. We love the bagged brown rice and jasmine rice. You literally take a bag out, throw it in the microwave for three minutes, and you have perfectly cooked brown rice, jasmine rice. They have a ton of rice options in these handy boxes. They contain three pouches of the rice, and I don't know about you, but cooking brown rice for me takes forever. And so by having these little packets that I can just pop in my microwave and in three minutes I have perfect rice is a huge win. These don't have any added ingredients, so they are the same smart points as if you made rice yourself. They're just a huge time saver and honestly we love both of these rices so that is everything that's clean eating at your local Trader Joe's Whew, we have went through the entire store in these last couple of videos. I hope that by sharing some things to add to your grocery list, to check out the next time you're in store really helps you. Most of these items, honestly, I buy on a regular basis. If you watch my grocery hauls, you see these in them all the time. I usually go to Trader Joe's every week. I'm obsessed with their produce. They have a ton of great organic, clean options. So if you have a Trader Joe's nearby, or even if you have to travel a little ways, it's well worth the trip because the selection and the prices are amazing. So I hope this video helped you out. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around, subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and I generally bring a lot of tips and tricks and recipe videos. We do grocery hauls, weigh-ins, 
meal prep, what I eat in a day, you name it, it happens here. So I'd love to have you head over and join my community. Now, if you're already a subscriber and your bell isn't turned on, make sure you are notified as I plan to do some more lives and some other videos that you make. want to make sure that you are notified as soon as they are published. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you love Trader Joe's and leave your comments down below. Let me know if there are any other clean options that you found that maybe I missed. We'd love to hear about them. Thank Thank you again so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you next time.